So McDonald down two sets to one. And needing something of a lift. Love 50. Bathroom break hasn't helped, at least to start. It's that number four for McDonald. Unforced errors continuing. It's an amazing turnaround. I know that Sinner's improved, but he went from six unforced errors to 36 so far. So 30 unforced errors in the last 15 games. To a game he's given away. Oh. The evidence oh, of this game it looks somewhat forlorn. Yeah, do, you, do you feel as though there's something physically wrong? Because he's gotten slower yeah. as well. He's moving so well early in this match. Oh. Yeah. Completely different looking athlete than what we saw in set one. And he hasn't had the intensity of these sorts of matches, has he? Yes, he's won a few matches over the last few weeks, but not against this level of opposition. Whether that's a factor, I don't know, but got to be somewhere in there, you would have thought. Two hours on the clock. Yeah, that's the other interesting thing. It looks as though this shouldn't be physically taxing because of the score, but the sets, the games were so tough in those first two sets. A lot of long games and the points, there were very few points won with serve that was, all the points were hotly contested. This crowd must be thinking, what has, what has gone on? The tennis was so exciting for a set and a half or so until all of a sudden McDonald's broken down. And it looks as though the discipline has gone somewhat, isn't it, as well? I mean, obviously, he plays a brand of tennis where it's important for him to get on the front foot, but he's he's taking some cuts at the ball now that really don't look on. Yeah, Sinner. Sinner's first serve. He's firing nice. then had the changes to the serve just after Roland Garros last spring, wasn't it? He lost early at the French in May last year, had that period of three or four weeks coming into the grass. That's when they looked at the serve, made those changes. has really looked back since. Which is a bit of a risk, isn't it, to take a mid-season technical change for a player. Yep. Gonna have some buying, haven't you? You do. And trust. 
in the people that are there to build your game. You, you've got to put your faith in them. Helps, as you say, when you've got a guy who's on the coaching sidelines with an impressive CV. Well, yeah, number one's galore, so he's telling you it's time to get to number one. As we keep okay. talking, there is back in the day, you didn't hear about this very often, but if you don't win a point in the set, it was called a golden set. Okay. We're, I mean, we're still far away from a golden set, but McDonald hasn't won a point yet in set number four. Remember the last oh, golden set, Jimmy? Come on, this is a tester for you. I do. I knew you'd be on it. I believe it was Bill Scanlon beating Marcos Hosevar. <laughs> well, that wasn't the one that sprung to my mind, I'm not going to lie, but we'll, we'll dig a little deeper because Sinner has got a double break here. There was one at Wimbledon, actually. Yeah, who, recently than that. Who was that? It was Edward? Shvedeva Shvedeva. against Irani. No way. Yes. Golden set, 2012, third round. 24 points on the bounce. Now you got to check on my okay. close of our. We will. We'll, we'll get into that. Sinner, having not lost a point so far in this fourth set. We oh, have just confirmed that Jimmy's knowledge stretches very deep indeed. <laughs> knowledge of useless things. I think I was at that tournament. That's why I remember it back in 1982, was it? Bill Scanlon over Marcos Hosevar. Yeah, 83. 83? Yeah. Delray Beach it was.